Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is for the sun, moon, or rising of Sagittarius. Uh, if you guys are interested in any of the services that I provide or wanting a private consultation, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my personal information on there to contact me. Also, if you'd like to support my channel to give you or to allow me to give you guys more content, uh, definitely check that out. It's also in the description box below. So let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of August 2017 regarding your love life. So I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while now, so we're just going to get into your reading. Oh, wow. Okay. Sagittarius, your first card is the Lover's card. Second card is the Nine of Pentacles. Third card is the Fool. Fourth card being the Knight of Pentacles. Your partner's uh, cards, the Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Central issue is the Hanged Man. Okay. So the central issue, there is a waiting or wanting to make a choice or wanting to make a movement towards something, uh, but you're kind of waiting, out, wait, waiting it out at the present time. Sorry, got tongue-tied there. <laughs> so you're presently waiting it out, seeing how things play out for you. Now, how you're seeing the situation or how you're approaching the situation, again, the lover's card. The lover's card is being at crossroads, having to make a choice, having to make a decision. Uh, it could represent having to make a decision between two people. You may be dealing with a water sign or you may be dealing with an air sign. So a water sign would be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Uh, air sign would be a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And again, like I said, it is definitely having to make a choice. I feel that for those of you that are currently in a relationship, the Nine of Pentacles is definitely wanting or desiring uh, to start new, start something new, start a new relationship or walk away and become single for, for a while. And the reason for that is because the nine of pentacles definitely talks to me about the thought or desire that's already in your head about wanting to be single for a while. Like I said, now you have the full card. The full card is definitely looking towards new beginnings, but it can also represent being innocent or being very easily manipulated, manipulated, uh, in regards to love and romance. So what I mean by that, it could be the fact that you are in fact in a relationship and you're willing to walk away or you're thinking about walking away to a relationship to make yourself available for someone else, uh, but you're not being very wise, okay? The fool could be being uh, rejuvenated, revigorated, um, spontaneous, but the way I'm sensing the flow at the present time, I'm definitely seeing it as you're not being wise. You're, ba you're basically being impulsive at the present time. Now, if you want to approach the situation or you want to move it or take it to the next level in regards to uh, this new person that's coming into your life, then the, the best way to do it is go practical, Sagittarius. And what I mean by go practical is if the per person is putting effort and they're willing to see you, they're willing to you know hang out with you, they're willing to text you, check up on you, et cetera, et cetera, then obviously the next step would be either to make it a relationship or to actually get involved. Um, and that's a practical, don't rush into things is basically what I'm hearing. Uh, as the Knight of Pentacles definitely talks about uh, not making any moves until you see uh, that it's safe to do so, okay? So try the best you can to approach the situation. Tread lightly is what I'm hearing. Now, how your partner views the situation or the person that you're dealing with at the present time, they have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is the charity card, the give and take. Um, it could represent that perhaps the person that you're dealing with sees you at the present time as you're putting the same effort that they are and things are starting to actually take off. The Knight of Cups here is again like I said a water sign but it's also loving messages or communication in a loving form uh being basically they are they are enchanting you but <laughs> basically uh they're being uh you know gentleman like or trying the best they can anyways um the the ace of swords again like I said may be dealing with an air sign and the ace of swords is definitely about being honest being truthful uh, it could also represent cutting through the bullshit or cutting through lies. And 
at the present time they feel that there's a blockage so again like i said for some of you guys it could represent that you guys are in fact actually in a relationship at the present time and you may be dealing uh your partner may be an earth sign so an earth sign would be a capricorn virgo or taurus and it's like you no longer want to be with that person you're wanting to walk away and the partner the person that you're interested in at the present time sees this as a blockage as something that uh either they're gonna have to make up their mind about whether you know i want to deal with her or with him and their baggage or whether they want to just move away from this type of connection because they don't want any issues or they don't want to come off as the person you know the third party type of energy now the hanged man again like i said it's the best thing to do at the present time is to be practical about it and don't rush into anything the hanged man definitely talks about going within yourself trying to come to terms with what it is that you want if you're no longer happy in the relationship that you're in then it's best to be honest it's best to walk away uh being you know with uh mutual respect um and if you know if it's a little bit too late to do that then the suggestion is don't be impulsive try the best you can to try to make a decision whether you want to move forward and or end the relationship that you're in in order to move forward okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading comment like share my videos if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and we'll see from each other soon okay bye